welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to cover timers. So timers are used when we want to add some delay in our execution. So as of now, I have a test plan. Inside the test plan, I have a test case, which is thread group. And inside the thread group, we have two samplers request one, which is hitting first page of the application and we have one more sampler which is hitting one other page of the application so the requirement is like that i want to make some delay in between to the request like if the user is hitting first page then i want three second delay after that and then only after that request two is going to be executed so as of now, I'm taking only one user and to make a constant delay between two requests, we can go for timer, constant timer. So in the constant timer, we can set data input in milliseconds. So here I'm setting 3000 millisecond, which is equal to three seconds. So before executing, I'm adding a listener and I'm increasing the time just to show you like if we execute it as we know the priority of the timer is more than sampler so first this timer is going to execute and now timer is executing at the start so it will wait for 30,000 millisecond which is equal to the 30 seconds and then request 1 and request 2 now request 1 and then request then request 2 but you know requirement is like that i want to make delay before request 2 like after request 1 i want to make this delay if i'm adding in parallel to the request so because the timer priority is more than request which is simpler so timer will execute first so i want to execute it before the request 2 so i'm adding it as a child of the request 2 now when we are going to run it because in parallel we have two samplers so it will execute first sampler and when it comes to the second sampler in second sampler we have a constant timer as well so it will check the priority and the priority of the timer is more than sampler so it will execute first timer and then request two so by this way we can implement the scenario in which we want to make delay before the request two so i have added it as a child of the request 2 and request 2 is a sampler and it's a timer so timer priority is more than sampler so timer is going to execute first so before the request 2 this timer will execute now i'm clearing the previous result running it again and this time you'll see first request 1 is executed and then it's going to execute request 2 but before that it will execute timer so now timer is executing it will wait for 10 seconds and only after that request 2 is executed so here we see if we want to make a constant delay between the two requests we can go to the timer which is constant timer thanks for watching this video